How to Replace Refrigerator Water Filter Replace the refrigerator water filter every 6 months, or sooner if needed. If the indicator on the control panel flashes, it is time to replace the water filter. Start by turning off the water valve that connects to the refrigerator water line. The valves are usually located underneath the kitchen sink or in another adjacent cabinet. If you don't know where the water valve is, contact a plumber or follow the refrigerator's water line to the source. Dispense any water remaining in the water line into a container. The location of the water filter varies depending on the refrigerator. Here the filter is located inside a cover on the top left side. And here it is on the top right side. On some models, the filter is at the top but does not have a cover. On some French door models, the filter is located in the left door behind the lower door bin. Locate the water filter in your refrigerator and then follow the relevant steps. There are two cases. Let's look at replacing upper interior water filters. To fully open the filter cover, you need to remove the top shelf. Before beginning, remove all items from the top shelf. To remove the shelf, tilt up the front of the shelf, lift the shelf and pull it out. Pinch the sides of the water filter cover to open it. Make sure the cover is pulled completely open. Remove the water filter by rotating it down away from the housing and turning it counterclockwise. Use a towel or washcloth to catch any water. If there is no housing, just pull the water filter downwards. For water filters without a cover, remove the filter by rotating it counterclockwise. For the water filter located in the door, open the left refrigerator door. Remove the lower door bin by holding each side and lifting up. Behind the bin you will see the water filter. Swing the water filter out slightly and turn the bottom counterclockwise to remove the filter. The model number of the water filter is written on the filter label. Purchase a replacement filter by searching for the model number on the LG.com website or at your local home improvement store. For this water filter, search by LT500P. Remove the new water filter from its packaging and remove the protective cap. Clean out any debris or obstructions inside the housing. Insert the new water filter and turn it clockwise until it locks into place. Rotate the filter up toward the housing and snap the cover closed. If there is no housing, insert the water filter upwards. For models with no filter cover, remove the protective cap. Hold the new water filter so that the tabs at the top are facing to either side. Insert the filter and turn it clockwise until it locks into place. If the filter leaks after installation, clean the housing again and reinstall the filter before calling for service. Reinstall the top shelf. Don't forget to remove the protective cap. Clean up any spilled water using a soft dry towel. Insert the filter into the housing and turn it clockwise until it locks into place. Swing the filter back. Reassemble the door bin. Be sure to push down on the door bin until it is fully seated. Turn on the water valve that connects to the refrigerator water line. Dispense a total of two and a half gallons of water in 30 second intervals to remove trapped air and to prime the system with clean drinking water. Press and hold the water filter button for three seconds until the indicator light turns off. You are finished replacing the water filter. Some models require that a water filter bypass plug be installed if the refrigerator is used without a water filter. If your model came with a water filter bypass plug, make sure to keep it handy in case you need it. The ice maker may not operate unless the water filter or the bypass plug is installed. For more information, 
Visit the LG.com website and click on the Support menu.